Uh, League One was a phenomenal environment for us this year. Uh, the girls were able to play against some great competition, a lot of current D1 players from US and local Canadian schools. Um, so the, 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 the competition that we got in League One, we really couldn't have gotten anywhere else. If I, if I had to pick two or three, I would say one of them is standing beside me here, Jasmine Lagrain. I think it was one of the better holding mid slash center backs in the league and she's only 17. Uh, Jade Abreu, she's 16. She, she played almost every single minute for us in the midfield, as well as Nicola Golens, who's still to turn 15. I'd say that our mistakes were paid by, by, by goals. A lot of times this year, we're in the past at the youth level. Those mistakes often went unpunished. So even though that was, that was tough to deal with for us, it's, it's a great learning tool for the future. And, um, I'm sure if these girls stay together in two, three years, they will, be, they will be one of the best, if not the best teams in the league. So I believe that I'm a playmaker. I like to hold back, you know, get the ball from the center back if I'm playing as a holding mid, and then pass it up front, try to create stuff that, that would help us get opportunities to score. Coming to this team, I believe I learned to be quicker with me, my actions because Marco, my coach, um, he focuses more on confined spaces, which has helped me and my teammates to be more explosive on the ball and create opportunities off of that. Uh, exceptional. Honestly, I think that everybody on my team has played to their truest potential and I think everybody can go further than that and as a team I think we really grew as one. So I think our season, even though we didn't make the playoffs, I believe that everybody played exceptionally and I think everybody's going to go really far in soccer.